one of the important things for SALT is that um, uh, the awareness, uh, even if the awareness has increased in the past 10 years, mm -hmm. lots of people probably would know that SALT is bad for us. The, the, the big problem, uh, knowing that the majority of SALT is added to food by others, not by you, uh, prevents people from really implementing and uh, making a low SALT choice. So in the last two years, uh, a number of independent organizations, independent from industry, um, have created an app uh, that could be uh, downloaded free, uh, has been developed in Australia and is active in Australia and now has been developed in Britain the last two years based on, on the British um, market that will empower the consumers in the supermarket to scan the item of interest and have the whole composition in terms of salt, sugar, saturated fat, fat and calories on the item that they are choosing. And they could really read it in a way that is comprehensible, unlike the labels on, on the package, which are not, unfortunately, still standardized across different companies. It's all voluntary. Uh, as such, the industry hasn't agreed to a common ground. Whereas the app will allow you, with a system which is standardized across all items of food, to compare, for instance, the saltiness of a can of soup that you're going to buy with the saltiness of your sausage you're going to buy with the saltiness of your loaf of bread you're going to buy. And that app is freely available in iOS or Android, could be downloaded. For most cases, you will find the items with all the composition, food, and uh, will also provide you with the better choices available on the market of similar compounds. So it will allow you to shop around with competition to get a better deal in terms of health, not in terms of money. The app is called Food Switch UK and you can download it as Food Switch from either iOS or Android.